In the example below, we'll predict what happens in the long run when we select many, many random samples of nine babies at a time from a population with a mean birth weight of 3,500 grams. Then we watch a simulation to see if our predictions are correct. For example, in this example, we might expect the following about the distribution of sample means that come from a population where mu is 3,500, like on the previous page, the center. Some sample means will be on the low side, say 3,500 grams or so, while others will be on the high side, say 4,000 grams or so in repeated sampling. We might expect that the random samples will, will average out to the underlying population mean of 3,500 grams. In other words, the mean of the sample means will be mu. This is similar to what we observed with sample proportions. In the long run, sample proportions averaged out to the population proportion. The spread, for large samples, we might expect the sample mean that will not stray far from the population mean of 3,500. Sample means lower than 3,000 or higher than 4,000, for example, might be surprising. For smaller samples, we would be less surprised by sample means that varied quite a bit from 3,500. In other words, we might expect greater variability in sample means for smaller samples. So sample size, again, plays a role in the spread of the distribution of sample statistics, just as we observed for sample pr proportions. The shape. Sample means closest to 3,500 3, will be the most common, with sample means far from 3,500 in either direction progressively less likely. In other words, the shape of the distribution of sample means should be somewhat normal. This, again, is what we saw when we looked at sample proportions. The discussion of shape, center, and spread here is not very specific. I'm just giving a general idea. We will now work toward making these statements more specific. The distribution of the values of the sample mean x bar, or the sample mean, in repeated samples is called the sampling distribution of, of x bar, or the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Let's see if our predictions about the sampling distribution are correct. In the next simulation in the video below, we randomly select thousands of random samples of nine babies each from a population in which the mean birth weight is 3,500 grams.